Welcome back with the midterms. Now coming into view, the battle over election rules is heating up in many parts of the country. As part of our county to county series this morning, we want to focus on one particular point of controversy, ballot drop boxes. During the pandemic, millions of Americans chose to vote through absentee ballots in the 2020 election. 40 states and the District of Columbia allowed voters to drop those absentee ballots in those drop boxes instead of mailing them. Now, conservatives led by former President Trump are taking aim at the practice, launching challenges in state legislatures and the courts. NBC News correspondent Shaquille Brewster joins us now from Milwaukee, where the state Supreme Court is expected to rule on whether to allow drop boxes ahead of the midterms this fall. Shaq, good morning. So Wisconsin has become one of the key battlegrounds on the electoral map. It's no surprise its election rules are coming under close scrutiny. Walk us through the court battle going on there over drop boxes. And to do that, you really have to start back at 2020. It was in 2020 when you had election officials here in Wisconsin use those drop boxes for the very first time to help relieve some of the pressure at early voting locations and in-person voting locations. And they set them up here in Milwaukee at places like libraries. That was the move that was supported at least verbally by the Republican legislature, by the governor, and by election officials. But then you had a conservative institute after the election challenged the existence of those drop boxes, arguing that the, how they were implemented wasn't in adherence with the law. I want you to listen to that institute, which now has the case before Wisconsin's Supreme Court. The problem with drop boxes uh, that is presented in the litigation is that drop boxes are not provided for in the law, and they simply aren't. There are two ways to return an absentee ballot. You must either give it in person to the clerk or you must place it in the United States mail. That's it, there's nothing else. Now, if we wanna have drop boxes, uh, then the legislature is gonna need to authorize them. And when it does authorize them, what I suspect it would do is adopt a set of rules or directives in order to make sure that um, the, the use of drop boxes is relatively uniform. Based on those challenges, as things currently stand, this February 15th election will be the final election that Wisconsin voters will be able to use those drop boxes unless the Supreme Court steps in and says something different. So, Shaq, one of the big things here, of course, is that people came to rely on these ballot boxes. They got used to them. It was easier for them, especially during the pandemic, but also yeah. just several reasons it made it easier for, for certain people. Now, you've been speaking with election officials and activists about that. What are you hearing? More than a third of voters in 2020 voted by mail, and more than half of those voters returned that mail-in ballot using a secure drop box. So I spoke to the uh, commissioner of the Wisconsin, or rather the Milwaukee Election Commission, about this practice, about how many voters have relied on it. Listen to what she told me about this practice. Our voters really use drop boxes. Um, we saw the increase in absentee voting during the pandemic where there was a lot of uncertainty with the mail as well. And so voters became accustomed to using the drop box. They get their ballot, they can drop it off at any one of our 15 boxes at libraries, at City Hall. Because of how quickly we process them and they can check online and have that peace of mind that their vote's been received, it's not gonna get destroyed in a machine, lost by a mail carrier. Um, and it's extremely secure. We have 24-hour video surveillance, security seals, lots of checks and balances that a post office box doesn't have. In Wisconsin, according to the law, those mail-in ballots must be received by the clerk by the close of polls, even if they're in mail processing. So that is part of the reason why people rely on those drop boxes, because they know their vote will be counted once it's in that box. All right, Shaq, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.